Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel, Melt with Nat and Jack. I'm Natalie, if it's your first time here, welcome. And if you're returning, thank you so much, welcome back. I have a very small haul from Destination Wax. Um, it was her September 1st opening. She opens on the first, almost of every month. I know she took like July and August off, I think, maybe even June, July, August. Um, so I was waiting for her to open because I wanted to get another loaf. Even though I have one whole loaf left, I needed a backup. I had two loaves of her Salty Sear. She makes my favorite Salty Sear. I don't know what the oil is she uses, but um, it's the my favorite Salty Sear. And um, so I used one whole loaf during the summer, and I have a my one backup loaf but I didn't want to touch that till I had another backup loaf now I can use the other loaf because I just always have to know that I have one in stock because I love it and um so Rebecca is the owner and all I ordered was two loaves which I'll show you guys um and I got my invoice here but she doesn't have the price of the pant the foil the loaves so I will put it below in my description I'll look it up in my email or on her website and I'll put it down below and um, so the one thing is I did not expect any samples because I only ordered two loaves and to be honest with you I did um, I did another vendor haul yesterday that was like over $200 I got like I want to say, I think I got 11 or 12 loaves and there weren't any samples in the box. And I didn't even think about that until I opened Rebecca's and I saw these. I'm like, wait a minute. I didn't even get samples when I, I didn't, I just did not expect. I never expect samples. I don't look for them if they're in there. I'm like, oh, I forget I got, you get them. But when I got hers with the two loaves, I remember yesterday I got a haul and there weren't any samples. So... I didn't open this yet. This is from Rebecca. And she says, thank you, Natalie. Happy melting exclamation, Rebecca. And I'm going to open them with you guys. Four samples. Thank you. Apple, sage. It's And she has scent notes on them. A clean herbal blend of apples and light sage. So that's apple sage. And it's a little green bunt. Like, oh, it's so not, I like it. Normally I don't like, like herbals. Oh, a clean herbal blend of apples. Maybe with apples I like herbal. And light sage. I like it. It's really, really good. Really, really good. That's a great... I like this as a nighttime in my room blend. Frozen. I've been wanting to try this, her Frozen Frozen. It is cold... Oh, I gotta use my flashlight. This is hard to say. Okay, here we go. Cold menthol plus essential oils of eucalyptus and peppermint. like a lavender color again like a bun oh it smells so good again it's um this is definitely a scent where like if you're stuffed up on like in the winter you know and you get like a cold it smells like what you put in the vaporizer it it's i don't want to say vicks vapo rub a hint maybe something like that but but not that like a eucalyptus oil in the in the vaporizer it brings me back when i was a kid and i feel like my grandmother used to put something like this in the vaporizer when i was sick chocolate covered strawberries dark chocolate and fresh strawberries ooh now, I don't really like chocolate and wax. I've said that, but sometimes I have. It's the sh it's a rose. How pretty is that? I love it. Oh my God, I love it. 
I feel like I would want, I would want this in a loaf. Guys, this is, if you don't like chocolate and wax, it's dark chocolate strawberries. Love it. Um, I might go back soon and when she's open and grab that in a loaf. Because I don't have anything like that and I would like to have that. Something different that I normally wouldn't get. The last one is charcoal tonka and it's smoked tonka bean, cedar, black pepper, patchouli, spices, and a touch of vanilla. Did I show you the dark, the chocolate covered strawberries? I don't know if I showed you that, I'm sorry. And if I did, I'm sorry. Just wanna make sure you see the label. This is so good. Oh my God, I love this. I need more of this, okay. This is why samples pay off when the vendors put them in. So many times I get samples, I love it, and I end up ordering a loaf of it. This And many times Rebecca has given me samples and that's how I know what I love and I buy loaves. I only got the two loaves because I have so much destination to catch up on, but um, that's what it looks like. Okay. This and the chocolate covered strawberries. Um, if it smells on warm like it does on coals, and I'm sure it will, definitely want more. Okay, my two loaves I got is my Salty Sierra. If you guys watched my empties in the summer, um, I mix Salty Sear. One time I mixed it with Scentsy's Rainbow Sherbet. We did the beach all day that day. Me and Semper, my dog, I did the dog beach with him. Got home at like three in the afternoon, put him in the shower after I was done. Before I got in the shower, I went around my house. I'm like, oh, I just wanna keep smelling the beach. So I did Salty Sear and I mixed it with Rainbow Sherbet. Don't ask me why I did that, I don't know, but Oh my God, addicted. Now, Rainbow Sherbert left the, got discontinued, but I bought like 20 bars of it. So I have it because with the Salty Sear. But I also mixed the Salty Sear with like strawberry and other fruit to see if I liked it as much, but with the Rainbow Sherbert was my favorite. But I like I liked it. It's good with any, like a little bit of a, of a fruit scent. But on its own, I love it too. So her salty sear is described as salty sea spray, seaweed, driftwood, and a bit of ozone and water lily. I will never buy salty sear ever from anyone. I just, I only want Rebecca's because I wouldn't even, I just, I love it that much. Like it can't get any better than this. Nope. It can't get any better than this. She makes the best salty sear. The best. It is the most authentic. When I tell you, uh, it couldn't be more authentic than this. It is so... Have you ever tried it? Let me know if anybody here has ever tried her salty sear. It, it's the best. Never had her pretzel. I'm in this pretzel kick. I want to try pretzel. Everyone's pretzel. So, um, salty, buttery pretzels. I haven't smelled it yet. Love. 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 It is excellent. Yes. Love. It is so, so good. I'm so happy. So that was it. This was like the smallest haul ever, but um, I, I don't care. I'm happy with it. I have a whole draw full of my destination. I'm going to do a destination week coming up, but this is going to get put away for next spring, summer. In the meantime, if I need a break from our pumpkin pecan waffles and our apples, and, and I feel like I want to smell the beach one day in the winter, I have my other loaf of salty sear. 
And when that one's done, I won't start this one till I have another backup. That's how much I love it. And her pretzel, get it. If you like pretzel scents, this is A plus. I will, if you don't like it, I'll buy it from you. That's how good this is. This smells, well, I guess I gotta warm it, right? So maybe I'll let, this was poured. This was just poured September 6th. So let me, I'm gonna let it cure for about another month, but I'll keep it in my out. Like I won't stash it away and I'll let you guys know on warm. So you guys, I'll let you know. And um, let me know if you've ever tried her pretzel. It's excellent. I'm cold to 10. So I'm very, very happy. And thank you so much, guys. I hope everybody has a great weekend. Um, we have the big um, seafood fest this weekend in Point Pleasant. So we're going to that. It's, it's streets and streets of crafters and food. And we're eating lobster rolls early in the morning. And yeah, it's a fun, fun day. So all right. Love you guys. God bless. Thank you so much. Good night.